one game, okay? One game. One game where they got absolutely annihilated and they still won anyway. Um, don't let these stats fool you. On top of that, YJY stats are inflated after a 23 kill Kalista game with 45% of his team's damage share last week against Armored Project, where he bloody aced the team by himself. Okay, he had six items, but everyone else had two. That's how far <laughs> ahead of the curve YJY was last week. I'm gonna be curious to see if he does go back towards the Kalista pick, because that seems to be a staple pick for the Steel Wolves. Well, as we get into ban and picks for game one, Steel Wolves gonna be on your blue side, Liam on the red. Why is it every league I cast is always a wolf team? Die Wolves, Steel Wolves. Well, you know, you gotta have lone wolf, wolf pack, you know, mentality kind of thing. I, I don't know, Fish, I couldn't tell you. I think those are like the only two. What is, are you okay? I don't think those, I think those are the only two you're even talking about. I don't think there's any other wolf teams in actual sure they were. in any like major regions at the moment. No, but there is Wolf, player. D true, but like you were talking teams. Either way, Steel Wolves going to be banning Stop out playing semantics. the Olaf, the Lucian, and the Renekton. Meanwhile, on Liab going to get rid of the Nico, the Silas, and the Karma. And to start things off here for Steel Wolves, they're going to go ahead and prioritize that Corky in the mid lane. If the last game wasn't enough, you saw what Corky can do when he gets the ball rolling in the mid lane. We saw the Quadra kill coming out from Carino during the laning phase and eventually during team fights, he was shredding through people and had massive amounts of poke to, to work with as well. Pairs up very nicely with Ezreal, but of course that's been taken away by Aaliyah. Along that, you're also gonna have the Kennen for Gamza in the top lane likely and oh, for Steel Wolves, they liked it in their first match last week and they're gonna go ahead and lock it in Kalista once again. Opens up for an aggressive pick as the support. But Steel Wolves, unfortunately, won't be able to lock that in now. Because if you show your bottom lane combo now, Liab can just pick up something simple or take away a crucial pick like Sejuani and say we'll get something later on. But Gamson's also going back towards his cannon. I like, I've liked his performance on the champion. Has looked very strong. And oh my god. Yeah, the Keanu Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Has left through for Exo? Yeah, Exo going to have Make the it new stop. queen. Kiana getting locked in. Aatrox now banned out. So that won't be able to be answered here. We've already seen Exo play this champion. Yeah. Make it stop. Make it stop. Well, it's going to happen, Fish. Mommy! On the side of Steel Wolves, getting rid of the Kench. So if they get a heavy CC combo like a Nautilus or something along those lines, an Alistar paired up with that Kalista, there's not going to be an easy escape for that Ezreal. But even then, Ezreal itself is still safe enough that it's going to be pretty hard to catch him out of the first place. Has that Arcane Shift to get to safety. Final ban also going to be Jarvin and Irelia being banned out here for Liab. That does open up the Elise if they wanted to go <laughs> aggressive here in Liab. Yeah, just, but just, yeah. they're just picking the picks they want. They're like, we don't care about counters. We're just going to throw our support last. Lock it in oh, what they wow. want nice and early. We just saw the Cannon versus Fiora matchup earlier. Ooh. We're playing with, playing with my heart, Steel Wolves. And I don't even know where that would go at this point. Don't be locked. What? <laughs> All right, Fish, where's this going? I'm okay with Ari, actually. Where's it going? You already locked in Corky. You can go top lane. You can, we're doing Corky top? Why not? Oh, boy. And a Thresh coming in. We're getting the spooky bot lane. Well, you could always swap up junglers, right? Like, Ari could still be mid lane. You could have something funky you like to join your top. <laughs> and then uh, Corky jungle? <laughs> Corky jungle is fine. Callista jungle? Callista jungle is fine. Ari jungle is fine. <laughs> Morgana too coming it's, out. But it's Leo. probably going to be Corky top. Again, you're up against a cannon. Mm -hmm. So even if you put Ari up top, Corky up top, both are going to be completely fine. I think Corky top's fine. All right. Ari, Let's... I think, is also completely fine too, given that you know it's one of the most played champions in the mid lane in solo queue. I think it's underrated in competitive play. I think Ari still has a lot of damage, has good crowd control, and the mobility at level 6 is insane. I like the pickup coming in from Steel Wolves, and I like the flex of just randomly throwing Corky up top, saying, you know what, you've picked a mage top lane. We'll just throw a mage top lane too. All right. But nobody synergizes with Sejuani. <laughs> You've got four rangers and a four. Sejuani is going to be like, hey, Please apply my passive, and everyone in the team's gonna be like, no. Because even be Thrash like, is ranged. Yeah, everyone's gonna look at the Sejuani with a very, very visible confusion. We'll have to see whether or not they can make this work here. Corky in the top lane. Ari coming out mid. It's gonna be game one. Liab taking on Seal Wolves.
I am so happy to see an Ari. It's been a long time since I've seen an Ari. Nice. And no one doing anything crazy. <laughs> Everyone just fans out. Everyone just kind of sits at the entrances of the jungle and says, what you doing? But one thing I do have to say is I give the favor to Liab in the laning phase. I mean, sure, bottom lanes can be fine for Steel Wolves. Morgana's not going to get some too much crazy done unless Dark Bindings connect. Uh, but Corky in the top lane is still unorthodox. Corky is very slow. His gap closer is not very fast and doesn't cover much distance. Which means if Dodo gets a gank to the top lane and Corky's overextended, you've got stuns coming out from Gamza, you've got a stun coming out from Dodo, and plenty of damage in between. Whereas if it's Vans who comes up, suddenly that's just a tank. He's got some CC, but without a melee top laner to proc that passive, it's very difficult to, for him to lay it down all by himself. It's going to be bot side starts coming out from both of our jungles. I think we'll actually see more fights towards top side of the map. I think unless Dodo can get something done in the mid lane early, Ari's going to be completely fine because once she's level 6, you can't really gank her anymore. And bottom lane is going to be a farm fest between the two. Both any carries in this lane are very safe, especially with the added bonus of having a very safe Morgana, as well as Thresh who can keep Callista very safe, and Callista who can, in return, keep very uh, Thresh very safe with her ultimate. Yeah. Early levels, we might could maybe see something here, but level 2 hit for both sides. Likely the Dark Shield already leveled up, and Hama is even going to get a quick Dark Binding to start things. Trying to get some chip damage nice and early. No harm in that. No harm in. YJY has been. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. Doesn't even need the Black Shield as it just completely whiffs. Yeah. Expecting the Duke coming out from Organa, but puts the Black Shield on himself and does continue to walk in a straight line, actually. Steel Wolves are going to start entirely red side clear first. So Vansu is going to clear out Raptors, hit level three. Oh, he's going to get triple buffed. Dodoy might be able to triple buff him. There's a chance that Johnny can just jump over this wall with the Blast Cone. Secure blue buff for herself. Let's so that needs to burst it down quickly. Oh, Vanzu might be just going over for this scuttle setup. Kodo's going to come oh, around the wall. Around. What is this pathing? Um, hello, this Vanzu. How are hello? you today? Vanzu realizing, hey, wait. There's a, there's a spider in my jungle. Damage, gonna get the though. quick stun. And Onto that the base card. damage. Oh, there you go. Over toward the side. Azure's over the wall. He's going to jump in with the Valkyrie. Flash on forward. And there it is. First blood going on over to Steel Wolves. That was interesting. Uh, Dodoy got the successful steal, but he just walked straight in towards the Juani afterwards. And I thought that was a bit questionable. No one really covering the tracks here as, you know, Kiana wasn't able to gap close against the Ari, wasn't able to get that distance covered, and Corky already had a very good push. Ooh, pain. That Ooh. forces out the um, cleanse, and they both trade flashes. There's going to be pings now coming up, so bot lane's going to rotate over. Are they going to come up into the dragon pit? Pings are there. Sly's telling his AD carry, get over here, my dude. There's the flay, and there it is. Pain picks up a kill, and Steel Wolf strike twice. Yeah, Steel Wolf strike with both solo laners. Corky picks up a kill as well as a red buff going, or double buff going to yeah. top lane. Pain's just able to get a quick solo kill in the mid lane, or, you know, it does get some help eventually, but that was all set up by Pain. Very nicely done, and... Steel Wolves off to a flying start. It's the solo laners get the advantage too, which is crucial. Because the two places I thought Dodo would attack the most were going to be mid lane and top lane very early on. But now, his job's even more difficult, especially with him falling down. He's only level three on this body spider. Yeah. And for Exo, that was, you know, a bit of a rare mistake we don't see too often where Pain's just... Honestly, it just looked like Exo was mispositioned and Pain was able to get a quick charm and that was enough to get the chunk. And what I really wanted to talk about was the fact that Dodoy completely misplayed that. He got the three buff, he just needed to be more secure, but he let Sejuani get the passive off on towards him as a lease. He should have been able to position that better, you know, not run straight in towards him and try and disengage, repel over towards that blast cone much earlier. Deny that push coming in from the rest of them, but still was collapsing very well. It's even a club to Mancy Corky, by the way, for these trades top lane. Yeah, so he's going to get some free items there, free gold. Another thing, too, Payne didn't even have to use the Ignite during that kill. No. He still has that offensive summoner spell available for that level 6, because Exo's still half health in lane. When he hits level 6, it's going to be a difficult time for Exo. All right, he backed immediately there, so he's not going to have level 6. Uh, YJY. He's getting rather aggressive here, and he's starting to lose out a bit in these trades. And this is the one thing that's going fairly well for Liab right now. I mean, CS is kind of in between the two, but Gary's going to be able to knock 
Callista back to base first, so we'll be able to shove a wave in underneath this turret. So Liam do have control over the bottom lane, but that should reset with the buy that will come in from Callista. Get some Berserk Grease very early on. There we go. Get some extra range on those hops. Get some extra attack speed as well. Feels much nicer for the Callista there than most AD carries. And Sue is down toward bot lane. Still, though, not level 6, only level 4. Still a bit early to try and make a play, but... So far, so good. And Payne's got this level 6. Exo wants to jump in. Able to do it back. Oh, there is. Charm is there. Use the ultimate. Ignite's ticket. And Exo's just going to get soloed here in mid lane. And Payne picks up the kill. Dojo is so late. Yeah, I don't quite understand that. Exo was should level know. 5. He should know not to be going that aggressive. Payne was level 6. And Exo knew that Payne still has his Ignite available. That was a very questionable decision. It just feels like a couple of the Leah members are on tilt at the start of this game. Oh, well played by Payne. Yeah. He's punished him in his mid lane with the unorthodox Ari pick, and he's already got two kills for himself. This is why I like very staple picks. Like, if you if you go to Twitter and you look at uh, the Shout Custom LSK, Ellis's Twitter account, he talks about how you want to climb the ladder, pick a simple character, and play that consistently, someone like Annie. That's who he suggests to play. Ari, to me, is... A uh, champion that a lot of high level players are very comfortable with and play religiously, even though it's not in meta. And it's working out for Pain. He's got two kills on it. It's a comfortable champion for him, and it's catching people by surprise. You don't see it as in competitive as much. Yeah. I as like this pick. It's, it's a comfortable and simple pick to play with, too. And the trade patterns from a Kiana, she's always going to be jumping in towards you. If there's no minions between you and the Ari, you're going to get engaged. But look That's at this. Blank came out from Gamza. Fight is delayed. They don't have level six on both sides. Azur is here on the Corky. VJY needs to keep Kaim back. Needs to get the Ren. Not going to find it, though. Gary goes oh, down extremely stun. low. The stun is going to be there. Oh, Gary! Flash! Wolves. Oh, <laughs> the Steel Wolves just can't do anything yeah, there. Something, something, not enough Wolves in the leagues, right? Yeah, oh, well, thank there's you. another one. Uh, Gary just playing that phenomenally you there. Bouncing between brush and brush, working with Dodoy for that stun, and just like that, three kills go the way of Liab off of one big teleport flanking play. Very well executed, and that's going to put Liab on the map. And there we go. Equals out the gold, and they're also going to go ahead and pick out a Mountain Drake for their trouble. And we've seen this with teams before, if they're able to. Sly actually steal this. No, he doesn't. No. Dodoy, you're pretty low. Uh, so Dwani's going for a gank. Doi, Doi, Doi actually doesn't have smite. Uh, oh, Drew's up barrage. Here comes Azur, though. Repel in from Doi, Doi. They're going to look to clean this up now. In the end, Hamaz needs to run away. Flash forward from Azur. Double kill on the Corky. And Steel Wolf, yep. They they just strike back and they take the dragon. Um. Okay. What a, again, let's start with this age-old LSC <laughs> philosophical <laughs> conversation of when you get an advantage... You don't bite off more than you can chew, okay? You equalize the game right there. If you can't take the dragon, don't take the dragon. If you're gonna take the dragon, burst the damn dragon down before the other team can collapse after they respawn. Yeah, I'm a bit, conf I'm a bit concerned. They're in when trouble. There's, there's a dive coming in bot lane, by the way. Oh, they're looking for it. They have level six. Ahmed's got sweeper. He doesn't have level six himself. Available for Sedge. Here we go. Sly's going to show. Go. They realize they get right on top. Spell shield's a little bit too late. They're getting the damage. Callista, though, is the one tanking. Gary oh needs my. to be taken down. Gary! Gary's still alive, but there he goes. Oh, and what a KY! What? <laughs> he took aggro once again! And it's a sloppy dive, to say the least, and Hamez is able to pick up a double kill. Yeah, that was uh, painful to watch. Oh, uh, we shall never mention that dive ever again. <laughs> what the hell was that? Pull up a chair, Fish. We got ourselves another good one here tonight. <laughs> I'm going to just have two free kills. Because <laughs> they were like, we're going to stand on top of the Sejuani, uh, sorry, the Morgana ultimate, and we're just going to take it to the face, you know? It's fine. Yeah. And that was, uh, that was a little unfortunate because the minions crashed into the wave and they wanted the minions to soak up, of course. The aggro, but that gave level six over to the Morgana. <laughs> Upset by this. Oh, no. So back, it's going to be dead even kills and gold's dead even once again. <laughs> I feel like if they tried to fight that away from the turret, it would have been much better, especially why Jari being mobilized over. Oh, there is just so many people in this river fish. And Doi Doi is going to get caught out once again. Ren's there, and YJY picks up another kill. Doi Doi loves getting caught out in the river right now. Yeah. He really likes that dragon pit. 
It's the I go die now. That's that's what he, that's what the pit's yeah, called. Dodo's actually died three times. It's, it's just look at the vision control coming out from from Steel Wolves. They got one ward over by the blue buff, one by the bottom lane. So they spotted out where Dodo was rotating, and they said, "Let's just collapse. Let's just get Sejuani Thresh over here." Lance it over to YJY later on and just collapse onto him. He does a good job. That's some good damage from EXO. Yeah, EXO has been really good. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, there it is. Over the wall. Not going to be able to find the stun. There it is. Ultimate comes out, but the cleanse is oh immediately my. used. And now oh he wants to my. go back in. He finds himself the quick stun. But now Hum is not Grab able to get Lance within it. range. What? What? Pikachu. Gamza picking up a solo kill underneath the tower. Nice one, Lightning Hamster. Um, I'm going to talk about mid lane first. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things went wrong. Good cleanse on towards Sejuani's ultimate, but the charm didn't follow up coming out from Pain. Missing that charm is a big spell to miss because that's your lockdown after the cleanse is used. Uh, but then the follow up coming out from Exxon was beautiful. The stun using the Earth. Uh, what are they called? Essence? Earth Essence? Alignment? Earth uh, Alignment? Something. Earthbender. He Earthbender Earth them into the wall, got the stun, <laughs> then ulted them oh, backwards pain. like a mini Nara ult. And Hakun! Oh, just jumping in. Very easy kill. Blue suede shoes coming out from Dodo, just sidestepping the charm. Exo jumping in with the flash for the kill. Yeah, Payne was happy with it. Let's go ahead and take. Oh, yeah. Zer just walks he into got a you. blind. He's thunder. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That, that was the story of that. Pikachu used thunder. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and the final Q coming in. It is an AP cannon as well, being built here by Gamza. Yeah, that's a pretty sizable CS disadvantage here. 30 CS in favor, but it is three kills to Azure, so that kind of makes up for it. All in all, the top lane should be fairly even at the moment when it comes to gold, but it's teleport his... advantage is in favor of Ganza. He oh, has yeah. gone to his AD cannon. So if he teleports into a flank and into a fight, oh, it's going to hurt. Oh, it's going to deal so much damage. And we already saw one Scamza using a very good teleport, so... We have no, they can use this. And they've shown they've done it once, so we'll see if they can do it again. I think it's a little concerning now for Pain, though. Exo's gotten to a point where we can pretty much almost... Oh, BJY, let's comes see. To Sejuani over the wall, and decent damage. Gary gets taken down, and Ahmed's going to be the next target. Oh, uh, no, Sly gets thrown in underneath the tower. He's barely got any health, but they're able to juggle aggro, and the set shutdown goes back on to the Sejuani. Gam just got teleported. Doi -doi. I don't think there's a ward in the back line, sir. Doi -doi is here. Exo's coming. That's a Kiana. She wants oh, some what easy a good kills. Juke. Ah, Sly! He's going to be happy. Oh, there's a very late teleport coming uh, out from stick Azure. Stick around for this. They're going to try. Exo, he jumps in, gets the shutdown. Now, YJY. Wants to keep going. Oh, now there's another <laughs> teleport coming in. It's Gary. He's respawned. And Gamza joins in on the fight too. Pain. He jumps in himself. Coming all the way down. Decent amount of damage going down. And Gamza uh, gets taken down. And now Steel Wolves. They can look to turn it back around. Back behind. Gary. They jump in. YJY. He now has the kite. He's going against three members. He um, gets one. Can he get two? He um, doesn't have the render reset. Actually, he does. He's not going. Oh, no. Now the cooldowns are there, and YJY. Uh, oh, wow. oh my lord! Now Morgana's rejoined. Um, <laughs> what? Not finding. Uh, oh, that finds it. But here comes the thresh. It's not going to be in time. Have you ever had an extended two-minute fight, fish? At fourteen minutes. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see any of that. Because <laughs> pick a player. Who do you want me to rail first? <laughs> like pick one of them. <laughs> Just pick a player. I'll get him for you. Um, give me. <laughs> I, I I think the big one for me was Azure. Uh, Azure. Okay. What the hell was that teleport? Next player. Uh, pick another one. I've got. Everyone's got one. <laughs> Let's go, Gamza. Gamza. Hey, do you know what your R button does, Pikachu? It's the lightning from the sky hitting an AOE. You got a <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> the proto belt available. You use <laughs> one of them or both. Like All right, next player. Come on, uh, let's keep going. Let's go, Exo. Uh, Exo did okay, actually. He just decided to take too many Callista shots. Didn't die at the end. That's fine. Exo's fine. Well, who else? Who else we got? Uh, what about Pain? Oh, uh, Pain. You know what your ultimate does, Pain? You dash. You move around. So you know things like cocoons? Yeah, you can dodge cocoons and not get stunned. Oh, and also it does damage. So please press your R button next time. Even if you're just dashing on their face. Please. Please. Azure. 
Oh, you gotta get out of there, bud. Oh, look, he found star. his art button, Opal. Ah, uh, repel in. Gebs have found the art button, Opal. <laughs> I can't believe it. He's found the button. The one that does the damage. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Someone get me a keyboard right now. I just want to click the buttons. Oh Press boy. your buttons. Don't be a double lift. Use your flash. Oh, first brick, though, does go in favor of that Callista. That is... Oh, it's going to be rushing the Rage Blade, so you're not going to have the Rune Ends right away. Is your second item. Instead of going for the Rage Blade, you'll have Rune Ends coming. You sounded there. like someone from California right there. He's rushing the Rage Blade, so he's not going to have the Rune Ends just yet. You know what, Fish? Please stop. You're I not could from do California. a little bit less with your attitude. You're from Canada. Please <laughs> act like it, eh? I already say but enough, let's be honest. You're not sorry, though. No, because I'm not sorry, because this is not what I would call the cleanest game from either one of these teams. No. <laughs> it is not. This is, <laughs> this is uh, Sunday Night LST coming in, bringing you the finest throws, the finest. What is this ARAM into Rift? I don't know. There was know. no setup. There was just Steel Wolves going, we want. Damza. This is just Steel Wolves going, we want Rift Herald, and now Leah, we're going to try and fight for it. This is also Steel Wolves saying, we just want to die, I no, guess. No, Gams up. Oh! They catch out! Doi Doi! Over toward the backside, though, they take out Sly. That's going to be Rift Herald secured in favor of Steel Wolves. Exo going in huge, gets oh a three-man stun. Gamza's over there toward the side. Rend is available. Doesn't do enough damage just Jump. yet. Oh, he jumped in into the charm and pain! With the help of Zur, he's going to find the shutdown. Really good catch on towards Dodoy coming out from Vansu. Jumps in, gets the instant ultimate, locking down Elise and taking Elise out of the fight. If you didn't kill Elise straight away, you should. She's very squishy and won't be able to dish out her burst during that team, during that team fight. Not a bad time for them to take the fight too, especially if Gams are not having his uh, ultimate during the fight itself. Liab, you don't want to take this mid lane tower? Uh, but the follow-up coming out from Liab, a bit questionable. I think I think the big sun coming out from Axison was great, but they're all hitting different targets. So the damage was split across three targets that were stunned. Instead of bursting down one and then going to the next one, they would have been able to kill two of them if they just picked one target, the closest one to them. Well, different players choosing different targets there. Not great. Oh, oh no, it's a big play coming out from Steel Wolves. They're going to be able to pick up a turret and a nice 2,000 gold lead for themselves. And that's going to be 300 gold going we have on. To Why the do you have 28 kills in 18 minutes, Opal? Uh, well, they heard we've been lacking our two kills per minute, you know, stable of the what's LST. The, what's the global average? I want to know. Uh, well, considering the LCK tonight, it brought it down quite a bit. I want to know what the global average is, because I feel like one of these teams is going to get an MSI, and they're going to look at the, the game score at 30 minutes and be like, Why is it it's just one kill? What's going on? Loon's Echo completed here for Pain. You got Trinity Force online for the Corky. You got Rage Blade now for the Callista. Now wants to work toward the Runans. Especially during these chaotic fights where they're not really targeting the Callista. The target selection from Liab, like you mentioned, has been a bit iffy. And Dodo is falling further and further behind. He's only at 68 CS to the 110 of Sejuani. He's not a tanky jungler, so late game's going to have some troubles. Here we go, Dodo. Looking Look for a flank. flank. Going to get some damage, but, but they can't get the full completion. Here comes Gamza, though. He's a big Pikachu jumping in and gets the two-man, three-man stun. Exo now joining in from behind. Azure tries to kite back, and that's going to be the Sejuani taken down. Isn't it nice when your key players find their ability buttons like Flash, Protobelt, Ultimate? Wonder what else they could do if they hit their buttons next time. But a very good setup from Liam. Dodoy getting the quick chunk on towards Pain immediately following up the repel to stay alive and kind of good sorry not kind of but very good teamwork and communication from Liab to communicate to Dodo you can go in you can burst somebody and repel out and the rest of the team will back you up and many bought two seconds of repel time for Liab to come in and start the fight start it back up again so well played so nice picks there and it should be this infernal drake going in favor of Liab they're going to equal out that stack that was picked up earlier by Steel Wolves. Awesome. Nicely done. And we're going to have a Cloud Drake later on, and let's take a look at the gold rankings. Uh, yeah, all <laughs> of it's on to that Callista. I have three members of Liab, but the Callista is only 500 ahead as well, so that's a big sizable boost coming for Liab. The, the main I thing, hope. though, I want to take away is Dodoy is behind by a significant margin. Has Cleanse available. 
Oh, gets hooked there, and Exo's gonna get taken down. Oh, Very oh. low, Pain goes in. Over toward the side, Azura's gonna be able to find the kill. Key thing is they got enough damage on towards Seals that if they attempt to go towards this Baron, there's a realistic chance that Liab can fight for it. They're gonna go for it here. They do have the Callista. No ulti on the side of Ari, and their health bars oh, are very low. Liab should in. be fighting! Sly, they're gonna get taken down. Baron to 2,000 Baron's health. Low. That should oh, be it. Oh, good stun! Need to finish him off. There it is. They didn't have the run. Gamza, though! Pikachu! Into the back once again! Black Shield and everything! And unfortunately, once again, Liab are able to find themselves a victory, and the redemption oh! stops the back! <laughs> Oh, Azur though turns one around, doesn't get both. Barrow, barrow, play, <laughs> negative 396 gold. <laughs> I think that's the fastest Baron power play oh. we've seen. <laughs> I didn't like that play. I'll tell you why. They tried to go for a fight when they really need the rune ends on the Callista. <laughs> Oh. I would have liked the fight more if Thresh had positioned himself in a way that he wasn't right inside the Baron pit, but in a position to lantern someone the heck out of there as soon as they burst <laughs> it down enough. Because if they, if they escape with two Barons there, they get gold and Baron buff. Like, a little bit of gold, but they get Baron buff, which is important. They don't lose too much from that, though. I mean, the Baron buff kind of negates all the kills coming out from Liab. just means they don't have the buff to work with. <sighs> if anything, it slows down the pace of this game, man. Good, I, I need a break. <laughs> I don't think Seal Wolves mine a, 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 a slightly slower game right now because the longer this game goes, the more useless at least uh, can be. Oh, he's going to try and rush. Uses the flash to get to safety. That's a quick flash. Azura's here. Yeah, he did have Sly nearby, so he could have actually waited for the Lantern, but decided against it. And yeah, I don't know if you want that hook. Team very spread apart. You got Pain up toward the top side of the map, taking blue. You got YJY still in mid lane. Actually rushing the QSS too, in case he gets caught out by a Morgana Q. Or a Cocoon there too. <coughs> Excuse but me? Nice to have. That will build into his second lifesteal item anyway, so it's not bad, but... I don't think you need AoE runons here because you're going to be hitting single targets with Callista in this game. You've got an Assassin, Ezreal, Morgana, an Assassin, Jungler, as well as a Cannon. You're only really realistically going to be hitting one or two targets at a time. Runons not as effective as, say, there you were know, three tanks on the side of Liab. Maybe runons will be shredding through three people at once, which is nice. Not in this case, though. Again, these fights are so messy at this point. Everyone groups up. Uh, instead, he's going towards the... I don't like magic damage route and <laughs> getting a hex drinker ASAP. He kind of needs it because you get yeah. hit by Morgana, you get hit by Elise, or you get stuck on by Kennen, which all three are very realistic possibilities. You need magic resistance to negate some of the damage, and then you need that QSS to get out of the crowd control that all three of them have. And if you wanted to, you could end up the build with probably something along the lines of a Bloodthirster for that sustain if you wanted to go that route, or even a GA. I was just going to try and clear out that wave. Hold it for the Ezreal that's starting to come online. Has stacked up the Muramana, Iceborne, and Bork completed, as well as the Ionian Boots. And hello! Surprise Thresh. Gamza gets spooked and just runs away. Pikachu used the agility. Dark Binding's going to miss from... Ames. He's playing Aram right now. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Zero has almost been assassinated by Exo. In the Exo's lane. between two towers, by the way. Oh, hook. Charm. Dark Shield, though, comes out to prevent that. And Pain. Pain sees the lantern. He says, I like Blast Cones more. Exactly. Hamas, <laughs> uh, too, is already getting his cooldown reduction up as well. So he's going to have Black Shields pretty often during these fights. And Tower is going to be taken here by Exo in the bot lane. So while this is all happening, the split push is starting to pay off here for Liab. I mean, it's just about time. All the other Elder Towers are down. <laughs> as well get that bottom one. It was set up to be killed. Package is available for NCO, but I don't see them trying to fight for an objective anytime soon. It was quite a defensive Corky setup, too. He also went with a Hex Drinker himself going into the Maw. I think now you've got the Hexdrink of Kalista. now's your time to fight, so they're going to try and force the fight around the dragon. We shouldn't see one. 
I think Leo will just let this go. Package is there for Azur, so... Leo will just let this go. They do. Oh, oh there you God, go. No, Engage, don't. and he's able to get over to safety. Box comes down, but here comes Gamza on the flank. He gets stunned up, though, by the charm. Still getting enough damage, and he'll be able to take down the Kalista. And Leab, there it is. They find themselves the fight, and they were patient enough. That was a rush fight coming out for Leab, but Exorcen with a beautiful jump in for the massive stun all around the Dragon Pit. It's able to pick it up, and then Gamza buying so much time on the back lines. Steel Wars, wow, really botching the escape there because allowing the Leab to engage like that is difficult, especially with all the items that Steel Wars just picked up to secure these fights. Hey, you know, you're talking, you're like, this is a good time to fight. Be a fun, fun time to fight. And now they've lost an inhibitor. It's all gone. It's all downhill from here as well as the 3,000 gold leads being picked up by Leob. And Baron's coming up soon. No. And next dragon going to be another Infernal too. So that's going to stack up now the extra damage for both teams. Whoever's going to pick that up. And it just feels like there's just a, so much burst coming out from Lieb now that uh, Steel Wolves just don't have much time to react. Especially Exo. He's had really good dives. His early game was a bit, you know, questionable against Pain, but he was able to pick it back up. It's now him himself also getting a Hex Drinker. Void Staff also, though, here for Gamza. So this uh, cannon is going to start doing a lot of damage during these fights, especially with that ultimate. Mm -hmm. Going to work toward that Zonia's Stopwatch is cracked, and here we go again. I've seen this before, Fish. I didn't like it. We've got Kalista, so they do do this very quickly. Uh, Teleport's coming in Exo. early as well. Gamza's not in position for a flank. Exo, though, is nearby. Oh, that's a... Pretty awful Sejuani ultimate, and there's oh Exo God. into the Wombo triple kill. Where did they go? Opal, I can't see them anymore. I've lost my glasses. Um, and that's an ace, and wait, that's going to be game. Opal, where's the Steel Wolves? I, I don't understand. I don't quite understand. Exo comes in. Oh, they're dead. Okay, that's right. Claims the throne for this Kiana. And Liab, there you go. Definitively just ended off one... Huge combo at Baron. <laughs> Ban Kiana. <laughs> Please don't let Exo get the champion again. Because that was a five-man stun off of the yeah. wall shot. And that was without Gamza. Like, we were like, oh, there's no Gamza. And then Gamza's like, well, thank you for locking him down for a few seconds. Here I am, Pikachu! And then just everyone dies. Oh, Zen uses, you know, Shockwave there. And just a Volt Tackle. And... And... I like the commitment coming out from Steel Wars, but that was not the right time to be Yeah, you know, when the Szechuani ultimate hits Wits. Scuttle, that's when you're like, yep, this way. <laughs> and it's also a gutsy. We've seen that Baron fight before, too. Even with the Callista. Like, you're going into a closed pit against a Kiana, which you're in that <laughs> funnel point, which if she just hits that wall, you're that's all it. stunned. Like, no matter where you go, you stay in the Baron yeah. pit, you're stunned. You go to the side, you're stunned. You got Gamza, who it wasn't even nearby, but once he gets there, stun. Let's take another look there. I believe this was uh, our first Baron, where things didn't yeah, look too well. This is where it was like, okay, it's a four on five. Sly, why are you, why are you even in the pit like that? What do you get from hooking someone? Oh no. See, they got the good stun down by Vansu, and he still got his aftershock. Oh. But if Sly had have been further down and had the dark passage available for say YJY to take. Or even if YJY positioned himself to pull Sly backwards with the Dark Patches getting three people out, and someone would have escaped. <laughs> oh, this. Redemption. Oh, that was tragic. But it was just, uh, it, I think that's been the story of tonight's games all across the different series that we've had so far, which is throwing at Baron 101. That's been today's lesson. <laughs> you know, it was a back and forth game, you know, it was looking good. And then the cliff. And then Baron. And, and then, then Baron, Baron again. Those were the cliffs. Oh, jeez. Look at I, that damage. <laughs> yeah, I, I think tonight's story has uh, literally been how to throw a Baron 101. Because I think these teams are attempting plays that we see out of a lot of the big regions. Like LCS, LEC, LCK, mm -hmm. LPL. Especially when it comes to controlling neutral objectives. Like Dragon, Rift, Herald, and Baron. 
And the botch plays around Baron, uh, sorry, around Dragon as well as Rift Herald. Kind of help. Hang on. What's yeah. going on here? Yeah. No, I veto, I veto this one too. Hamas did not get MVP. Look, Hamas didn't play bad. But Exo. But there was a Pikachu and there was an Earthbender. <laughs> and together they formed the Avatar Pokemon. Right? The Avatar Pokemon. Like, I don't know. Either Keanu or Gamza should have got that MVP. What's going on? I I'm just, you, you know what? You can, you can stay here. You need a button. We got to get you a button. Oh, Fish is so tilted at this point. He's actually left the side. No, okay! Okay. Oh, no. He's gone. Okay. He was robbed. <laughs> he was robbed. I don't understand. I, I agree. This is I daylight agree robbery, and I'm going to call the police. Because Hamas, his kills that he did Everyone's been robbed was, in MVP today. Was from Steel Wolves having Sec a Sec really doesn't get one for double smite steal. Yeah. And then we get a five-man wall stun from Kiana, <laughs> and it's like, you know what? You know what? <laughs> this, he's, My he's, notes! He's the MVP. Oh, boy. We're going to take a short nah. break. Fish is going to cool down when we come back. It's going to be game two, of course, between Steel Wolves and... Ah!